Good morning friends. In the last period we have studied the uh, evolution of say alpha. Now in the today's lecture we are going to discuss very important law that is Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution function for an ideal gas. We have already derived Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law. We have to well known for that. What is Maxwell Boltzmann uh, energy distribution law? That is Ni is equals to uh, Ni is equals to what we have said. MB law. Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution law is nothing but what? Ni is equals to Gi uh, into E raise to minus alpha into E raise to Ei upon Kt. This is the Maxwell's Boltzmann energy distribution law we have general form we have already studied and from this we have to derive Maxwell energy distribution function Maxwell energy distribution function for an ideal gas we are going to derive now here first of all we have to say that Ni upon Gi ka ego therefore Ni divided by Gi is equals to here remaining is what E raised to minus alpha into E raised to minus E i divided by E t. This is. But N i upon G i is nothing but f of E. N i upon G i is nothing but what? We have to say that f of E i. f of E i. Now, here n means what we have to say that that is a average number of particles per quantum step of ith energy. Average number of number of particles in per quantum step. Average number of particles per quantum step in ith energy that is equal to say fi, f of ei. And finally, we have to write that this is nothing but what f of ei. And that is equals to E raised to minus alpha into E raised to minus E i divided by K t. This is a equation number one. Now the energy level of the system are uh, very close to each other. Then uh, the number of particles N of E into D E whose energy lies in the range of E and E plus D E number of particles in n of e into d e they are very close to each other if the energy levels are very close to each other then the number of particles in n of e into d whose energy lies in the range of e and e plus d Energies are lies in E and E plus D is given by that is N of E into D E is equals to F of E F of E into G of E into D E. This is equation number say two. There is number of particles in the energy level sum of E into D E whose energy lies in the E and E plus D E that is given by F of E F of E that is nothing but what we have to say that N I upon G I into the energy level in the states what we have to say that G of E into D E. Now uh, for ideal gas equation For ideal gas, uh, E raised to minus alpha, we have derived in the last period, that is what is the value of E raised to minus alpha, that is nothing but N upon V, uh, bracket mother H square upon twice M KT raised to 3 by 2, that is the value of alpha, E raised to alpha, we have already derived, that is N of V into bracket, what we have to say that, X square divided by 2 pi M KT, Rest to 
raised to 3 by 2. This is we have already derived and this is equation number say 3. Put this value in equation 1. Put this value in equation number say 1. What you have to get that? f of e i. So f of e is equals to what we have to say that e raised to alpha chikma n upon v into bracket x square divided by 2 pi n k t raised to 3 by 2 uh, into here what we have to say that e raised to minus e upon k t i state is nothing but what we have to say that each general state and this is equation number say uh, what we have to say that 4 equation number 4 3 and 4 now uh, for the uh, but what we have to consider here uh, that is uh, ideal gas consistently free particles with no spin g of p and d of p is given by for no spin ideal gas or no spin of the ideal gas what we have to consider here ideal gas consisting free particles with no spin someone upon ideal gas ideal gas of free particle with no spin this is important ideal gas of a free particle with a no spin uh, no spin g of p into d e is given by g of p into d e is given by this is very important expression g of p into d e for no spin g of p into d e this expression is very important we have that is nothing but 2 pi v we have to remember this expression otherwise this cannot be completed 2 pi v into bracket 2 uh, m divided by h square rest to 3 by 2 into e rest to minus e upon kt this is the value of what we have to say that equation number 5 this equation number say 4 is nothing but f of e and this equation 5 is nothing but what we have g d of e and g of e into d substitute this value in equation number say 2 now substituting equation number uh, what we have to say that 4 and 5 in equation say 2 we get now what we have therefore n of e into d e is equals to what is f of e that is n by v into h square divided by 2 pi m k t rest to 3 by 2 into e rest to minus e upon k t uh, into g of p into d is nothing but 2 pi v into 2 m by h square rest to 3 by 2 into e rest to minus e upon k t this is the conditions what we have to say that value of that two parameters we have to consider here Mm, it is nothing but what we have g of p into d e oh sorry g of p into d is we have a wrong value we have to substitute it here that is 2 pi v uh, into bracket what we have to consider that that is 2 m upon h square raised to 3 by 2 e raised to half into d sorry e raised to half into d here also we have to write that 
raise to half into the raise to half into d now what factors are cancelling here this h square is cancelled with the h square we have to use different colors h square is cancelled with h square then v can be cancelled with this v then what we have to say that another parameter which cancel here mm, nothing i think so the remaining parameters are n of e into d e is equals to in the denominator numerator what 2 pi is there n is there means what we have that is 2 pi n is there all right am i right this is 2 pi divided by uh, in the denominator what we have to consider here this 2 pi is we have to write as it is 2 pi as it is then uh, some parameters we have to consider here this 2 is also we have to cancel here another chop we have to take in here this uh, 2m it is 2 raised to 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 2 2 cancel with this 2 m cancel with this m <coughs> means we have remaining is what here y is there uh, k is there and t is there raised to 3 by 2 am I right pi k t divided raised to 3 by 2 into this is what e raised to half into another parameter is what e raised to e raised to minus e upon k t into what we have d e and this is a equation number what we have to say that that is a equation 4 5 this is called as a equation 6 equation 6 but this uh, equation 6 is also important for that is n of e into d this can be again uh, what we have this pi is also here pi is to 1 and here to what we have to consider here this pi factor is can be cancelled then again or n of e into d e is equals to top plug i put the twice n right 2 into n divided by here uh, pi is nothing but what we have to write that that is uh, 1 pi uh, into pi raised to half pi pi cancel means we have only root pi remaining from this pi uh, root pi is remaining right and uh, again what we have to say that 1 upon kt rest to 3 by 2 am i right 2n upon root 2 root pi into kt rest 1 by 2 into e rest to 1 by 2 into e rest to minus sign is there kt into de and this is a another formula or another modification formula for the mb energy distribution function uh, this is equation of Maxwell Boltzmann Maxwell, um, Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution law for the particles of an ideal gas this is nothing but Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution function law for ideal gas this is Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law for a particle of an ideal gas 
If the equation 6 and 7 gives the number of particles with the energy between E and E plus D for an ideal gas containing a total number of molecules N or a number of particles and at absolute temperature and from this we have to describe this is the Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution function law of an ideal gas. Very simple. First of all we have to start from Maxwell energy energy distribution law and it gets what? Maxwell energy distribution function law for ideal gas. This is the equation say 1. From that modification is n i upon g i is nothing but f of e. Number of particles in n of e into d whose energy levels are d i d plus d e is given by uh, n of e into d is equals to f of e into g of e into d. And for an ideal gas e raised to minus alpha is nothing but n upon p into h square upon twice n k t raised to 3 by 2. Remember this value of e raised to minus alpha. Put this in equation say 1. We get f of p is equals to n upon v n upon v into x square upon twice n kt raised to 3 by 2 into e raised to minus e upon kt. This is nothing but the equation say 4. For an ideal gas of a free particle with uh, no spin, g of into d, e into d e is given by g of e into d e is equals to 2 pi v into bracket 2m upon h square raised to 3 by 2 into e raised to half into d. Substituting the equation 4 and 5 in equation 2, we get the equation that what we have to say that n of e into d is equal to n upon v, v is gets, gets cancelled with this one, then what we have to say that 2 is cancelled with this 2, m is also cancelled with this one, and remaining parameters are here 2 pi into n as it is, and uh, denominator pi kt raised to 3 by 2, e raised to what we have to say that half is there, e raised to minus e upon kt is there, and d is there. And this is also pi pi we have to cancel that is pi e raised to say 1 and here pi raised to 3 by 2 is nothing but pi raised to 1 into pi raised to half pi pi cancel. So remaining factor is what we have to say that uh, only what we have to say that 1 by 2 means nothing but the root of pi is there root of pi is there into 1 upon kt raised to 3 by 2 e raised to half into e raised to minus e upon kt. Uh, into B, this is the Maxwell Boltzmann energy distribution function for the ideal gas equation. This is very important uh, energy distribution function law of an ideal gas we have to consider here. Thank you. Right now.